Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. And though your pastor has a good moral opinion, he does nothing to help make it illegal in Texas. He does have a good moral opinion though, by the way. So I, I was just talking to your other your cohort over there. My wife? So, no, the, the other guy. Oh, Larry, yeah. Yeah, so uh, there is not another church in Dallas that's more pro-life than First Baptist Dallas. Right. We have a pregnancy center, but the mission is to stop abortion right. and to encourage adoption and those type of things. Right. I don't know that those photographs are necessary here. Right. Well, what we say is, though you have a good moral opinion. It's not um, an opinion, it's biblical. I know it's, it's a biblical opinion, but the problem is that the pro-life movement does nothing but regulate when, where, and how you murder kids. No, it what we, yeah, no, it does. No, no, no. It's never put forth nobody, a bill. Nobody over there, nobody over there in our pregnancy center, nobody here. Well, having a pregnancy, if we had a million pregnancy centers or a million churches just like this one more in Texas, it wouldn't help make it illegal. It does help women, and that's a good well, those thing. Those pictures are not going to help make it illegal. Well, it does. It actually keeps people from having abortions. They see it. But we call you to repent of being pro-life and become an abolitionist actually do something to help make it illegal in the land instead of just and, and that's what we work for how yeah, in a lot of ways no I'm not you don't get into that debate with you here you actually I'm, all i'm doing is asking to, to not show those type of right pictures actually your pastor doesn't because when a bill actually does come up to make abortion illegal in texas you your will. pastor fell silent on it and i do know that i do know that hb 948 came up and, and he did not tell your congregants about it. In fact, you probably didn't even know about it, right? Did you even know about HB 948? Yeah, we, we know about all of them. You know about all of them? Then why didn't your pastor uh, um, tell everybody to go out and vote for it? Did yours? Yes. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. That's good. That's why we're trying to expose the evil of child sacrifice and the apathy of You're religious in the leaders. Wrong place to expose child sacrifice because that's not what we're about. Yeah, I'm not saying you're about child sacrifice. What I'm saying is, is that you're apathetic and live in a culture where child sacrifice is legal and you ignore it, really. Yeah. Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. And though your pastor has a good moral opinion, he does nothing to help make it illegal. So what, so what you're saying is you're, you're just, you're not going to cooperate, right? Well, no, I am cooperating with, with, a, with a biblical stance. Like Jeremiah and Jeremiah 7, 